Welcome back to another video guys. Today, Ethereum hitting all-time highs, but not where you think it is. More importantly, where it's hitting all-time highs. I'm not gonna string you out to the whole video, but I do suggest you stick around and look at how we're gonna get to all these points. And I have some great news when it comes to the Ethereum price chart. All right, so I said it's hitting all-time highs. It is hitting all-time highs in Google Trend Words. I'm gonna show you that on the chart in just a sec. If you do find value from the video, hit me in the area down here, right there. Like, subscribe, bell notification icon because YouTube does have its way with shadow banning cryptocurrency content. All right, guys, let's have a look at this Ethereum chart. Here we are, Google Trend Words. Ethereum, you can do this yourselves. Just go trends.google.com, put in Ethereum. Look at this. This is the first week that it has done it, 100 points. This is a ranking through Google of how much it's uh, the word Ethereum is coming up in search results. Now, the last time we saw any significant major peak was, uh, well, it was January, December, of 2017, 2018. Previous to that was its top in June 2017. Then like I said, we saw it in January 2018, and we are just about to pass that top this week once the final data comes in in Google Trends to hit over, well hit 100. We're breaking down these high levels. Now what does that mean to us? It just means it is becoming far more popular for people to be investing in Ethereum, or at least searching for it to, to start with, and then investing into Ethereum. So we're about to break down these old all-time highs. These levels may become some of these lower levels here, you know, this little 14 or five or four uh, recorded value as this continues to rise. So this doesn't stay here. This can continue to push higher and higher, but what would happen is that these levels will begin to get squashed down. So just like when uh, June 2016 was its all-time high, these other levels started to get squashed down. And just as it came through in June of 2017, this just became nothing. So you can imagine going back uh, through the late areas of uh, the late times of October 2016, no, November 2016, that was still saying 100 on it. Then these levels are saying 100 on it. Just last week, now they're gonna continue to drop. So Ethereum hits an all-time high here. You might not think it's anything, but this, pay, pay big attention to the Google trend words. It happened with Bitcoin, so we take a look at Bitcoin. In 2017, we were, we were ballistic. This was 100 points up there at December of 2016, the absolute all-time high, 2017, I should say. Now we've gone from 25 uh, in December, and we're hitting 55 this month, and we haven't even finished this month. This is partial way through. So we have jumped a hell of a lot since last month, which leads me to believe we haven't seen the end of this market yet, especially with Ethereum going to 100. I think we've got a lot more to go with Ethereum. Bitcoin, on the other hand, maybe it just takes a little bit of a rest period and we see this market just go bonkers beyond our belief, or we see a massive top. If you hadn't seen my Bitcoin videos, I've just put those out. Go and check those out as well. I've got price predictions in there, looking at the charts, and then of course, Bitcoin news. But this video is about Ethereum. So that's what I'm paying attention to here. Ethereum, Google Trend Words, and why I'm looking at this. Let's have a look at the chart, and this is what I was talking to you about at the beginning of the video, why I'm very excited. I, I snapped this on, put this in, click on Ethereum USD, this to me, let's start, it's on a log. This is Ethereum setting up for a massive breakout. I just want to take a moment there because looking at it from, uh, we, can, we can bring this back so that we don't see this bar. Without this bar, I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Now that we got today's bar in, that we've seen the dip back, I, just seeing that pattern, because I've looked at this thing for freaking 10 years, that is a breakout. There's a very high probability that we will see a breakout. Then I'm looking at this going, all right, well, I've got my 1200 level in here. Looking back at 2018, 1200 was the first lower swing top. The, this is the stuff that's not taught in uh, technical analysis videos online or trade or anything like that. This was something that I learned from experienced long-term swing traders. 
this is a very strong signal if we break out of this, okay? So it is setting itself up, a lot of volume pushing into the 1200. Going back to January 2018, this was a swing top and then it failed. So this was the bull trap. Bull trap just means we saw a bull market, it was exuberance in the market, everything is popping off, it's going nuts with Ethereum and then we get this massive dump really quickly and people are like, sweet, time to buy cheap Ethereum, let's buy it at $800. It only makes it to 1200, you know, that's, that's a good 50%, but that's only profits if you sell it at that point. But in your mind, you're thinking Ethereum is going beyond 1400 again, it's got it in it, but it fails. So that lower swing top is a, a strong psychological level for a lot of people that were in the market at this point. I reckon a lot of people from this time are definitely out of the market now. They've sold off, they sold at 100 bucks, $200, they're, they're gone. So I don't think we'll see strong resistance where we are now at $1,200. I think this is just a quick pause and then we're gonna blow through these areas. Uh, that's just from, from history, looking at these charts, looking at this sort of signal. Uh, it wasn't a lower swing top at the time as it started to break through these old highs, but it formed a, uh, a lower swing top to the major top. If we break it down into like a, a three day chart, let's have a look. Yeah, first lower swing top on a larger time frame. You got the, the push down, push back up to try and retest the tops, failed $1,200 is the target. We're gonna break through that. There's not gonna to be too much resistance at 1400. I doubt there's gonna to be too much resistance at 1400. This is this is the last piece of resistance. If anything, you might see something at 1280, but I think once it slices through this, we'll probably slice nice and quickly through those areas as well, that 1280 to 1300, 1400, next to nothing there. That, that, there's hardly any anything going on up there. Those people who bought that top, probably out of here by now, so the resistance isn't there anymore. Uh, of course, this I could be completely wrong, but that's the way I'm reading it. I see a ton of strength at the moment. Uh, that's what I want to share with you guys. I'm very excited by that, looking at that pattern. All right, let's move back to, uh, to where we are today. So looking at that, throw it in the log, you can see this swing setup playing out so ever beautifully. So let's get a target on here now. We got a three day, but we have not seen a pullback. Let's go with a weekly because there's no other pullbacks anywhere to be seen on Ethereum. Uh, I'm gonna have to move my head across. There we go. All right. So we get the fib, we go low to highs, low point, high point. This is the last low here, 310, 313, yeah. So we call it 310. Then we are looking for resistance at 300%, which is 1500. 1700, 1900. So it's in $200 increments. It's a bit of a challenge because $200 is probably gonna get eaten up damn quickly on uh, Ethereum, especially with these kinds of moves. But they are levels to pay attention to as we continue to progress and then we'll have to reassess as we find a, another level of a, a pullback. So we'll start to measure those next pullback areas as well once we get something on the weekly chart from this point. The last thing I could look at is a monthly. So if we pop it down to a monthly, the last time we saw a reversal on the monthly was that same range. So I'm really out of options here for extra price targets apart from top to bottom and we just use fib retracement. So we're gonna start from the bottom just to get the measurements further up. The previous low $90 and the major low was $80.60. Go to the top. This level worked out nicely. Uh, Ethereum stayed underneath the 23% area for quite some time. As it began to break out, then we are definitely in a confirmed bull market. So we broke out of these, these tops, the next tops, we're in it. All right, so looking above, we got 2,200 and call it 50, 2,250 dollar level, which is our 61% uh, above the old all-time high. So it's basically measuring this range and then adding another 61%. These are Fibonacci numbers, they're not made up by me. Uh, let's close off the volume to get rid of that. And then the next level above 2250, 2750, that's the times two. So it's this range, 
projected on top of that range. So if, what I'm talking about is this range, and then you just project it above to that range. So that's it there, 2700, somewhere between that 22 and 2700 for some a good taste of uh, hopium. But along the way, I want to measure some of these weekly and monthly moves to see if we get some sort of minor resistance, uh, some pullbacks there. Now, I'm not gonna be selling at these points on the way up. I have targets much further up for Ethereum, like I, I definitely think we should be getting to around this $4,000 level. That's only three and a half times where we are now, less than three and a half times from where we are now, which is on the coin market, uh, 133. So it barely gets us to 400, uh, 400 billion dollar Ethereum. I think that's well within our reach, uh, especially now that we've cracked this one trillion dollar market cap. And uh, from here, anyone's guess, right? But there's gonna be some pullbacks and the point is not to get scared out of your position during those pullbacks, which we will of course cover on the channel. So I'm gonna leave this piece today here and I will do another video on Ethereum's news as well. So let's look at that. Uh, if you did find value from the video, let me know down below in the comments what are you seeing with Ethereum? Do you like these price projections? Do you think it's just gonna to top out at 1400, never to be seen again? Do you think we're gonna get maybe a cup and handle? Have you heard of those? Cup and handle pattern, we just go straight down, straight up, pull back, and then we explode. Are we gonna see that? Or are we just gonna see it slice straight through like I, I'm thinking is gonna happen, especially after seeing this nice uh, swing top form? So yeah, again, like up, Subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the bell notification icon and uh, join us for the next video which I'll be doing on Ethereum news that is coming up. It's important to keep in touch with the charts so that we don't feed the hopium into our minds far too much, especially at critical times that we need to be taking some profits. I don't think that's yet. Let's follow the journey. All right, guys, thanks again for joining me. Until next one, have more fun to get more done.